Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Blank Block, a comedy podcast from three twenty-somethings who have fallen into the void and can't get back up. My name is Ashley Maligan, and today I am joined by, as always, Cameron Bloomer. That that is I, and Serafina Buick. That is I as well. I I Captain. Ah, oh, hello, sailor. I welcome Captain. to the good ship, Blank Block. <laughs> Where are we sailing? <laughs> Uh, the internet, obviously, <laughs> it's always the internet. The world, the we're surfing, seas. we're surfing the web, bro. We've, s- <laughs> I hate that. We we're set course for some good content, hopefully, and uh, we should aim to not wreck on the rocks of cancellation. But that's so, always like the the goal is to get cancelled. I think. Yeah, to be big when you get to cancelled, fall. you're like you've truly made it as a current content creator. <laughs> Podcasting any percent cancelled speedrun. <laughs> speed speedrun can you cancel speed run... me? <laughs> speedrun getting famous and getting cancelled. Hey guys, I've got a question for you. Yeah. Yeah. Have you been have you been working hard or hardly working? Let's be honest. <sighs> I've been hardly working, I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, same. <laughs> It has been an unproductive week. I did still manage to bang out an episode of my other podcast, but, like, last minute. That sounds, like, productive to me. No, it was very much one... I had a a timer on my phone for when the episode had to be uploaded by, and (laughs) I uploaded it with two minutes left to go. I mean, that's... that, that, well, you know, still in time. Very good, very good. Very good, very good. Right now. Rimworld. I just keep hearing Rim. It is Rimworld, right? Rimworld, yeah. Rimworld. So, colony builder. You crash land on a planet. You get attacked by aliens. It's super fun. You get rimmed by aliens. Mm. Yeah, if you want to, if you download the correct mods, there is a BDSM <laughs> mod that I've had my eye on for a little while. There's a there's a nice oh. plugin. It's very expensive, but it's worth it. Oh, DLC. Don't you mean DLC? Dildo licking. Community. Computer. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking more dick loving colonists, but that one oh. works too. Oh, very good, very good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. What about uh, you, Serafina? I have also been a bit like, uh, uh, I've just been like shamelessly redrawing anime screen caps. You really, yeah, you went off on one. I've, I've <laughs> seen it on like Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> Everyone's like, are you okay? Have you like, like, gone have you gone have you have you hit it you know and i'm like i just can't i i can't wait until i can just take all the media from your twitter and reanimate an episode of sailor moon (laughs) (laughs) i mean that would be good that would be actually quite good maybe i should redraw every single scene (laughs) from the first every frame that's just animation that's just what i do oh no um but congratulations you've boiled your skill set down into the most <laughs> rudimentary of its parts yeah well, that, that would take forever um i mean i'm maybe i should do they, that oh sorry maybe by that's my way, new project mm. by the way sarah they look great and i i just riffed on you but they look so cool oh yeah yeah they are fantastically done i'm Aww, very impressed thank you mm, mm, mm. Wow. like even the rendering of them like did you when when you rendered like the most recent one, um, did you like add some like grain filter or something on it? Like it looks yeah. so cool. Yeah, I've been I've been adding noise to a lot of my oh, yeah. uh, drawings now, just to kind of like because my art is already kind of sketchy and messy, and if I just add noise to it, it looks like it's on purpose. <laughs> so <laughs> I ask a really stupid question, mm-hmm. but pictures silent. How add noise? Question mark. It's like um. <laughs> Are you saying fuck that noise? <laughs> fuck that noise. Uh, so basically, it's just like adding grain. It's like adding like a weird like, you know, and like, if I couldn't explain it in words, it's like a sound. Oh, it's your... a <laughs> <laughs> and a ooh, and a ooh, uh, sound to uh, it's, my. It's a visco filter. No. Yeah. <laughs> I should yeah. add that to the podcast. I should find a visco <laughs> audio filter. Oh no, oh no. Cameron, I'm gonna send the question right back at you. Oh working no. Working hard, hardly working. Um, to be quite honest with you folks, um, I don't, I can't remember what I did for the last seven days. 
<laughs> I think I think I went into like a fugue state. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've I've just I've just been kind of existing as always. I've been making a lot of hummus. I will say, mm. it's become the chickpea boy. Chickpea Bread boy, boy yeah. no longer. Bread boy Chick- no longer. Well, no, I still I have the I have the the hummus with the bread. So like maybe I am still bread boy. Oh my Maybe Lord, you are ascended bread your bread boy. and chickpea boy. I'm becoming it's... stronger. <laughs> He's getting more. Uh, what's in what's in chickpeas? Is it like protein or something? I'm, I'm just I just add like a kilo of uh, of protein to all my hummus. No, I, although protein here's a horror. Powder. Here's a what's horror story, in guys. Do you want to hear this? Yes. Chickpeas. My, my... chickpeas are in chickpeas. I'm really sorry to interrupt, <laughs> but the the contents of a chickpea is more chickpea. Cameron, continue. And and also plant meat is plant meat. Um, <laughs> no, my 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 most recent hummus horror story, which is a beautiful alliteration, is um, I ran out of uh, tahini today. Oh, I know. How what could a you? <laughs> what a bra moment. Anyway, <laughs> what the fuck is tahini? I don't know. <laughs> It's just something you put in hummus. And if you don't yeah. put it in, it doesn't make hummus. It just makes mushy chickpeas. Yeah, I had I had some mushy chickpeas today, but it was good. It was still good. It was tasty. Chickpeas are bad. Um, and I say this because I used to live with a group of vegans who the only cooking they knew how to do that was vegan was chickpeas. Like, I mean, not, chick- yeah, they're overplayed. Chickpeas and soy sauce, chickpeas and spicy sauce, chickpeas on your plate eat them even though they look like tiny shriveled bad it's just bad it was a bad time <laughs> bad time no, I, I understand that i don't think i'll ever become sick of chickpeas in all honesty they kind they give me life they give me strength they give me power and i ascend to a higher plane of being is a chickpea a legume <laughs> i Wait. like the word legume no because like my favorite legume if it is a <laughs> legume <laughs> Is uh is it butter beans? Butter beans? Butter beans are stodgy, aren't they? They're good. They're like, but they can be kind of chalky. Mm. I can't say I've the, ever had a what's, butter bean. What's everyone's favorite? Creamy bean. We all love I like creamy. I like a I like a kidney bean. A ki- mm. kidney beans bang so fucking I'm hard. I'm a sim. I'm a simple man. Not baked bean. Baked beans are like overplayed. Yeah, again, I was, that's literally what I was going to say. Overplayed. I've had too many baked beans. Mm. I like baked beans. Yeah, beans, that beans. Was, wait, 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 wait. Can we just can we just take a moment to real like that was the first fart joke that we've made on this podcast. <laughs> oh my it's a god! Monumentous occasion. We've descended. It's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Further into the void. So, I, I bring a gift to the group. Oh, thank I'm, you. It's not. I mean, my birthday was, like, two weeks ago, but, like, it's fine. <laughs> Fuck your birthday. I don't celebrate birthdays. Um, here is what I bring. I bring a question from my new favorite website, conversationstartersworld.com. <laughs> uh, once again, not sponsored. Yet. Um, mm. These are some very, very bad questions. I'm just kind of scrolling through. Um, like, just walk up to a random stranger in the club. Who was your best friend in elementary school? That's not. Can, can, can you say it like you're in a club and you're trying to speak over the music as well? Hi, my name's <laughs> Ashley. I don't know why I forgot my own name there. <laughs> uh, yeah, what's who was your best friend in elementary school? What? Who was your best friend in elementary what? school? <laughs> Do you want a drink? A <laughs> Jack? Yeah, Jack Daniels. Okay, who was your best friend, though? <laughs> Wait, Sarah, the music stopped. What's going on? But, like, that's such a weird question because obviously not going to know them. We're like, oh, it was it was Dave. It was wee Sally Young, the girl with only one arm. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happened to her? She lost the other arm. It was a tragic accident. How? Oh, God. She fell over. She just popped right <laughs> off. You don't need to worry about her, though, Sarah. Is she like a Barbie? (laughs) Okay. I I found the question I'm going to ask, though. Was there ever an event in your life that defied explanation? Oh, my gosh. Yes. 
Um, the defied explanation. I, my only yes, my only first thought was that when my house was broken into when I was living in Cambridge, and these culprits um, stole only our food, and uh, yeah. I just want to know why. I just think we made it. We made like a like a conspiracy theory that they were like uh, like stoners who were like really really hungry, and because we had like alcohol, we had like electronics about, like they had the whole world to just go yum yum yum. But they were like, you know what? I'm gonna take I'm gonna take some frozen fish, and, <laughs> and like microwavable burgers <laughs> out Maybe of Maybe <laughs> I I have an explanation for you. Yeah. You got attacked by a bear. Bears Shit. have no use for alcohol. One of those one of those Cambridge bears. Yeah, one you hear about Cambridge them all the time. And you know, on the gay scene at least. I was going to say that. <laughs> on the gay scene. You know, whenever you're on the gay scene everyone's like bear this bear that and i'm like there's fucking bears in here why aren't we running <laughs> i just typed in cambridge hey, that bears was a and apparently it's like a basketball team so i think the basketball oh. team is stolen my the basketball salmon. team broke into your 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 place of living cambridge has mm. trained bears playing basketball that's fucking <laughs> sick <laughs> oh no it's an ice why hockey is nobody team? talking about this oh, that's a completely ice different hockey. sport why has it got a basketball on the logo then? <laughs> I would what? quite like to see basketball on ice. Whoa, Ooh. guys, basketball on ice? Basketball Hello. on ice? I think we've just created our unique IP. Our new, our new selling point is that we are the first people to play basketball on ice. Founders but like, of ice skateball. What if, what if you like jump up in the air and you crack down and it like it tips like the, the ice rink like whoop? It like, tips the iceberg. How yeah. club penguin? Are we? How? Like in the least? What? What? <laughs> you just broke me. Uh, you could tip the entire solid ice rink that is built into the ground. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. It's water. Hi, Jesus um, here. If we all jumped at the same time, could we tip the iceberg? <laughs> could we tip the ice rink that the fucking Cambridge Bears are currently performing in? It's a question I think about a lot. Polar mm. bears. Like, couldn't it have been the Cambridge Polar Bears? You know, something more oh, ice-themed. I mean, than just a bear like... rambling around in the woods, like, eating honey and scaring yeah, tourists. Yeah, because here's the thing. If it was actually, like, a winter climate, all these bears would just be sleeping on the ice rink. They'd be hibernating. Maybe that's what they do. Oh, my God. We should, like, put all the polar bears on an ice rink. We should try and, and get... play visited... hockey. <laughs> we should try and sponsor the Cambridge Bears. Yeah. The Cambridge Bears should try and sponsor us. Cambridge no, I Bears? Think, like, could you imagine? They all come out, they've all got their little snazzy uniforms on, and then it's, you know, it just says blank block with our little logo on. Oh, it's not even in the UK. It's in Cambridge, Canada. When, since, oh. since when has there been a Cambridge in Canada? There's, there's a British place in North America, like. Imperialism. Canada. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry there's... to break it to you, Hunty. Um, I believe that the sun never set on the British Empire, uh, which was super fucked up and unethical. Yo, Cambridge Bears has sponsors, so maybe we can get sponsored by all of these sponsors. Like Pickle Juice, uh, Chick-fil-A. Oh, uh, no, no. We I don't want to be not, sponsored by yeah, Chick-fil-A. Yeah, let's not get sponsored by Chick-fil-A. Cambridge Bears, I'm disappointed in you. Uh, Superior Plumbing. I'm now super not cool with the Cambridge Bears. Yeah. It turns out they tacitly support homophobia, which is not not in. Not cool. Yeah, not in. Not cool, Cambridge. That, that's not the current vibe, you know? They do nice. have Q, Q barbecue. Yo, barbecue food mm. slaps. But only if it's Except done right. There's I none for everybody else, though, because all the bears eat it. Like, that's why they're sponsored. That's why they had to be sponsored by all these food companies. Because yeah, because they're just so hungry. They're just homophobic bears. <laughs> they're hungry homophobic bears. <laughs> yeah, the plumbing company is because they have a very protein-rich diet and the shits. Oh, the yeah, shits. no. These bears are dench. Fucking... No, they're really like... They're like sumo wrestlers, but like not in a good way. Bears. Like, 
chonky bear. How long do you think you'd get away with shaving a bear, putting like a human head helmet on it, and then putting it into competitions as a sumo wrestler? How sedated is this bear? Like, it's pretty fucked up. I mean, have, I... You, have you seen a shaved bear? Though. I have never seen a shaved bear. Once I I I'm gonna, I'm this. gonna, I'm gonna, I'm yeah. If you Google it, it looks like a oversized rat. I'm not gonna lie. It's like a naked mole rat. It. it oh my looks... god, that's fucking awful. Yeah. Let's make it happen. They look um, like the midpoint of of like a werewolf. Humanity. Yeah. Like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why did I have to look at that? I hate this. I hate that that's an image in my brain. They it's are like... a fantastic villain for like any D and D, anything. Speaking of like, here's the thing: can you could you train bears to play ice hockey? Because I've seen I've seen a I've seen movies, guys. I saw the moving pictures, and in some of those moving pictures, those bears are riding like tricycles and like playing the piano, and they're wearing little top hats. Like I've seen I've seen Doctor Doolittle too. I know what's up. Yeah, maybe we should. <laughs> okay, here's what we do: the Cambridge Bears, homophobic bears. We're not into them. Bad people. So what we do is we create a rival Cambridge Bears. Yes. Where yes. we shave That's a fuckload the of UK bears and train them how to do. But they're but they're really yeah. clever bears anyway because they're in Cambridge. That's all... That's always the thing, though. It's always, are you skins or shirts? And we're going to be the skins. We're going to shave all our bears. I feel like ice <laughs> hockey doesn't particularly have a large skins versus shirts. What with the whole ice part of it. Well, like, you know you know that the skins are always harder, you know? They're not no, afraid. Nobody's walking up to a fucking ice rink and being like, you know what, let me just strip buck ass naked. Or well, half ass naked. I don't really know. I never understood the concept of shirts versus skins because I'm British. Yeah. And we keep our clothes on at all times, including in the bedroom. Because isn't isn't skin <laughs> isn't skin like our body shirt anyway? So like <laughs> Sarah, you come out with the most profound <laughs> statements. I love it. <laughs> no, but like that's that's bone your shirt. that's yeah, bone shirt or like meat shirt, you know. Like <laughs> Lady Gaga was making a statement when she wore that meat dress. She was like, I'm just naked because my skin is my meat dress. And, wow. and my skin is my meat uh, fashion, you know? Meat fashion. True fashion is just stapling some burgers to a dress and going <laughs> fucking buck wild, clearly. I mean, I support, I'm I'm fully in support of it. I just I just picked up this number at the charity shop the other day. And it's it's kind of, it's like going a little bit rotten. It's festering slightly, so I got to wear mm. it out quick. Cameron, that was the butcher's shop. Also, oh. why would you buy perishable clothing in the current world climate? Single use. It's like single use. It's like the single use plastic debate. You shouldn't just eat your food. You should wear it as well, and then that's you the eat thing. It. Yeah, exactly. Me me buying perishable fashion is actually you know better for the environment. It's not going to the to landfill, then, is it? Because you're it eating permanently it. Creates you know what? Jobs. People should just eat their shorts. Eat my short. Yeah, Bart Simpson really was sick. <laughs> Bart Simpson <laughs> was onto something, man. Are we going to look oh, back sh- on history and think of Bart Simpson as a revolutionary for the future fashion industry? Yeah, yeah. Like Lisa Simpson was like, she was out here being like, "Hey, this power plant can be run on green energy," but we're all going to remember Bart as the one eat my shorts you know yeah my shorts are made from paper mache um no well no it's it's like the um <laughs> paper mache you, Cameron, you cannot Cameron, eat paper mache to, yeah i look i misspoke can i i need I... you to stop no 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 you're not allowed to take this one back cameron are you eating paper mache <laughs> look i've got a big bowl here um i've got it see it like i dip it in my hummus you can't eat glue Glue bad. Trust me on this. You're you making like glue. hummus out it of smells glue. smells so good. You got to chow down. Newspaper. I ran out of tahini, so I mixed glue in. <laughs> I got some PVA. Gets that really thick hummus going, you know. Um, I have I have a new segment which I've kept a secret from you guys. I'm very excited to get into this. Um, so <laughs> our friend Serafina, mm. um, she. She's she's a lovely person, you know. Love her with all my heart. Um, always been there for me. Always, always been a you know just a constant good in my life. But she cannot text at all. Um, oh. uh, so Serafina's, 
Seraphina's messages are something to behold. Um, it's it, it's like it's like a, the first run you do of like an AI trying to write a sentence. It's it's like oh, we'll just give this twenty more hours of learning. But it's like they turned it off and they were like, right, let's just make this into a person and this is how they text. So I have just a little collection of messages here, and it's actually this is actually like a little game show. I want you guys to tell me which one of these is um one of them's gonna be real one of them's gonna be fake um that i just made up which is gibberish and so one of these is something that seraphina actually sent to me and one of these is complete gibberish gibberish that i just made up they're both the same thing yeah (laughs) i also receive messages from the dear seraphina and they are legible gibberish if you (laughs) lie down and think about it for a bit oh yeah like i've i've learned the language of seraphina all right, round one, <laughs> fight. Cool. Round one. So I'm going to say two sentences, and one of them is real, one of them isn't. Um, so this, the first message is, oof, don't know if I'm agrande, or lamau ita cool, I'm being a saug. <laughs> I'm going I'm to go for option one. I'm going like go to go for option I'm going to go for option two because I feel like I remember saying that. But... Okay. I may actually provide a translation with some of these if I can. Um, so, in that round, the second one was real. Serafina uh, messaged me, Lamau, it's a cool, I'm being a saug. Um, which I think is translation for Lamau, it's cool, I'm being a sausage. Um, but without the S. And it's very good. Um, the other one was made up. Thank you. That was that was round one. So that's one point, Seraphina. Uh, I feel like you may I'm have being, an advantage. I'm being called out. Oh yeah, no, I did. I did warn Seraphina the other day that I was going to. My new segment was completely mocking her, but in like a loving way. This isn't very loving though. Um, <laughs> right, uh, round two. Um, so this is number one. PMH. I diff not Moran to value. <laughs> Um, or number two, uwu to garage uwu. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> the, the big problem is that both of those are something that she would actually type. Yeah, I need to adapt this so it's not just rubbish I make up, but I feel like it it still works. This, um, this is the introduction. Can you say the first one again? So the first one is PMH, I diff not Moran to value. <laughs> It's number two, I think. At a guess. So, Ashley, you think it's uwu to garage uwu? I think mine's probably the second one as well. Oh, no. I, I made that one too good. You guys both went for the wrong one. Um, the real <laughs> one was PMH, I diff not Moran to value. What uh, was I was trying it, to say? I think you were saying, I think you were saying, oh, OMG, I did not mean to call you. Oh, <laughs> um, But, like, with just a hundred errors um okay so we've we've got this last one now all right um, yet to score a point let's bring myself back onto the board let's okay, go let's so go. so ashley you could tie um with seraphina here or seraphina could take the game mm. here we go uh so this is the first one uh tape me away bubby <laughs> um or gotta love religiob <laughs> They're both. They're both so so Serafina. I yeah, thought they're both I, I, I real. I had a lot of fun writing these. <laughs> yeah, is this like a trick question? Both are real. Final I will, answer. I will. I will say that none of these are trick questions. Um, although that is, I should have done that. You should have done that. Um, yeah, I think. Uh, number two is definitely like talking about religion, which is something that Serafina does constantly, um, <laughs> without stopping. Mm. I, I will lock in on number two. I okay. think. My what was the first one again? Sorry, it was tape me away, Bibi. Deb, I can I can imagine both of them, me saying both of them. I'm gonna go with the first one to be different. Oh, nice! I like that. Um, so Ashley, you were correct. It was gotta love religiob. <laughs> it's it's religiob, you know. Um, <laughs> religiob. I, yeah, that like those two last ones. They um like the gotta love religiob one. It was. There was only one spelling error in it. Like, it was spelt perfectly apart from the N at the end was swapped for a B. Um, but it was the funniest out of all of them, just for the word religiob. So good. 
It's going to be the first merch we release is just a shirt with the word religi or bonnet. <laughs> yeah. I, I, this, my bad typing is cursing me a lot of the time <laughs> because um, a lot of my uni friends right now, they're not, they're not super used to it. So oh. they just kind of go. Those poor, sweet spring chicken. Uh, I, let me see if I can find. Maybe, maybe each week let's find a fucking like, a different example of my awful, awful spelling. But I remember. I mean, I've got three. Right <laughs> but I remember, um, like when I first started talking to like new people specifically, I'm like, don't type anything wrong. Don't type anything wrong. Don't type anything wrong, <laughs> because <laughs> I don't want people thinking I'm like drunk. <laughs> That is how you. That is a very good way of describing how you message sober. Um, yeah. Which, by the way, is only made worse when you are drunk. Yeah. Ooh, what's um? But like, as I remember, but then I feel like I just send stickers when I'm drunk. No, there are times when you you will type out a message, and the sheer amount of effort it takes me to read it is <laughs> it, like it, I'm putting yeah. this on a shelf. I'm gonna pick that back up in the morning. It worries when... me if Seraphina ever was like intoxicated and needed help she wasn't in a safe place or a safe scenario she needed to contact one of us you know um we wouldn't know <laughs> that she was in trouble i just die <laughs> we i've been attacked by like, the cambridge bears <laughs> the bears i'm like the, the beeps the beaver the, the, the cabbage beeps <laughs> plib plib the cabbage beep. bees <laughs> yeah i feel like oh. That's how Seraphine is going to die. How does yeah. autocorrect not save your ass even slightly on the It does. Do you have it saves. Turned off? Uh, uh, no. Well, no. But the thing is, um, because sometimes autocorrect puts like saved words that you normally spell the same way. Saved. <laughs> oh no. It kind yeah. of just puts. If I spell it right, it just puts it as spelling it wrong, and I was like, you know what? <laughs> I don't care anymore. <laughs> your phone like, is like. Um, like a partner in crime really yeah and also i just i'm much better on like a keyboard like on a laptop or a computer oh, uh disagree. so no yeah i am <laughs> oh no, no no as in like just personally oh sorry um but my phone i'm just i just type too fast my thumbs are too big and um i don't care <laughs> so... yeah to be fair here's the thing sarah never change <laughs> yeah <laughs> remain the exact same person for the rest of your days. Yeah, okay. hashtag remain. Um, hashtag... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so, um, speaking of phones, I I got beef this week, you guys. I got beef. Ooh, I got, got beef. beef. I got beef. Um, yeah. So, I am obviously over the age of eighteen, being a twenty-something. And on my eighteenth birthday, I treated myself. I turned around and went, you know what? I'm going to remove the age-restricted filter on my phone. At the time, remember it was day. probably to watch porn, not going to lie. But that's fine. Whatever, you know, people wank. Have fun with it. So you didn't you didn't do any, 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 you didn't see a booby until you're 18? I am well, not going to, I legally don't have to answer that question, so. <laughs> but so yeah, no, so no, I no, think no, it was more, it was like, more away from Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah, like on my 4G, you know, because sometimes your Wi-Fi in your house isn't good. I think it was capped out at 3G when I hit 18, which makes me feel incredibly old. But uh, yeah, so I was trying to use my 4G last night, not even to look at naked ladies. I was in fact trying to look at the RimWorld wiki, which and which obviously yeah, rim... you know is the game of where you get rimmed out by aliens. We've talked about this, but. <laughs> I just wanted to know whether or not this specific item could be built by my colonists at this time. It was like two o'clock in the morning. I have a healthy sleeping pattern. And um, bam, you are no longer allowed to view this content. This is 18 rated content. I have turned this off every month of my life since I turned 18. And yet it still persists. So Vodafone, this is an open letter to you. Fucking sort your shit out, mate. Do you think? Because, like, you know, whenever you go to like a like a like a hometown pub, and you've you've got the person in there, and they're like, "I'm sorry, love, I have to ask you for your ID. I know it's embarrassing, but my manager's watching, and I have to do it. I'm sorry. I know you look 18, but I just have to do it." Do you think Vodafone ever mm. would, would it make it better if Vodafone did that to you? It would be yeah. It would be better if a friendly tavern keep appeared yeah. on my screen and went. Sorry, love. I've got to ask you for that ID. 
Um, she taps on the ID25 sign. Yeah, you know. I like why why is it not just a button that I can like I am a legal adult. I have been a legal adult questionably for quite a while. <laughs> legally um, is legally in years. Mentally yeah. it's been about 2 weeks. Mm-hmm. Do you uh, like really... do you I was about to say like do you two like get ID'd often? Cuz I don't. I I bought a <laughs> I bought I bought a 12 crate of Corona today and yeah, I didn't get ID'd. I, I've not been ID'd in a long time, which is strange. I think maybe that's just a British thing. No, I think uh. it's more of a, you're like over six foot tall. So most oh. people just go, oh yeah, that, that dude's probably of um, the legal yeah, I think, drinking I think age. It's also, I think it's also like my powerful facial hair has a lot to do with it as well. Yeah. yeah your little wispy... Goatee. Yeah. Goatee thing. I don't know why you said the word wispy. It's um thick and, and luscious. Full. Just yeah. like... <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, I um, only ever get ID'd at the most inconvenient times. When I'm at a shop away from my hometown and I do not have my wallet on me because I left it in my hometown. And here I am just trying to fucking pick up a packet of smokes or booze or a nudie therapy. mag, you know, because my 40 oh, yeah, doesn't work. So, like, I have to get my tits somewhere. And then they're just like, <laughs> yeah, I need to see your ID. And I'm like, look, I've got a bottle of whiskey in one hand. A porno mag in the other, and I'm asking you for a 20 deck of cigarettes. Perhaps I might be 18. In fact, I'm over 18. But that's but could, then I, by, ha, buying all three of the dead seven deadly sins because there's now three now. Uh, um, <laughs> that yeah. sounds, seems a bit I, suspicious. If you're all buying three, one and go, and nothing else, maybe a packet of custard creams to, fr- to like throw them off. I feel like the custard like, creams so are true. more suspicious. The custard creams no. are more suspicious because when I worked at a petrol station. And someone came in and like wandered around and picked up a few packets of crisps or biscuits and then went to the alcohol aisle. I was like, I'm ID. Are you kidding me? If somebody comes in just for alcohol, that's like. Mm, if someone comes in just that. for alcohol, then they, then like it's like you know, ten o'clock at night, they've got a problem. Have you never probably. been to a? Have you never been to like an off license before? Because what you do is you buy you buy a newspaper. And then that shows that you're, you know, a worldly person who cares about... Just buy a packet of Tang Fastics or something. No, once again, no, you buy that's, anything that's other than alcohol do. or, like, cigarettes from me, I'm more likely to ID you. Really? Yeah. I don't trust these people. They've watched too many movies where someone walks in and is like, 13 packets of crisps, one loaf of bread and a bottle of Bell's Fine Whiskey, please, mate. See, and then I the person like... behind the counter is like, yeah, whatever, man, I've got too much to think about. So Serafina and I are, are just thinking regular chess, and you're thinking 3D chess. Um, because you're, you're thinking, oh, they must be hiding something if they're thinking of buying... Like, you're, you're going for the double bluff. You're thinking that they're always going to be double bluffing, whereas if they just buy alcohol, then they know they don't need to hide anything. Whereas me and Serafina are kind of simple-minded troglodytes and we're like we have to buy things to not look suspicious no but i've but... been i've been to an off license and just bought like i think the most i bought was like i think two bottles of vodka and like three things of wine and like some cider <clears throat> it was for a party um of one of one. <laughs> i think it was your sister's party actually uh karen oh um valid. Uh, and I was stocking up, but um, it, but then sometimes you just want like you know what, I'm gonna have a magnum as well. Fuck it, like a magnum condom for your monster dong or <laughs> an ice cream, <laughs> yeah, the white chocolate magnum dong condom. Ooh, white chocolate, hell yeah. Yeah. There's no um, such thing as a magnum white penis. Anyway, <laughs> so outside I... outside of porn, nobody has a forearm for a cock. <laughs> I what a sentence, Ashley Nelligan. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, and those that lie betwixt. That's all we have time for today. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll see you in the outro. Play the music. Hello everyone, Ashley here, and thank you once again for listening to this episode of Blank Block. If you enjoyed the show, please let us know on our social media, and rate and review us on iTunes, and tell a friend. We are relying entirely on word of mouth to spread the show, and your support would mean the world to us. For more from Cameron, follow him on Twitter, at TheLumpyBoy or on Instagram, at Cameron Bloomer, spelt B-L-U-M-E-R. For more from Serafina, follow her on Twitter, at Sacred Cows Media, or on Instagram, at Sacred Cows. And you can find me on Twitter, at Trashly M, that's T-R-A-S-H-L-E-I-G-H-M, and on my own podcast, Tales from Pontus. Once again, huge thank you for listening, and we'll see you next time.